Welcome back to Jacoby Rising. It's been a little while since I made a video, so why not talk about a couple things in one video regarding Dead Space. Today I have an update on the Tanya Clark interview. It's still going down. We're just trying to find a date to meet up, but I'll give you guys an update on some of the emails that we've been going back and forth. And I also want to give you guys an update on the Dead Space 2 and 3 backwards compatibility, and also talk about Dead Space Universe, Dead Space 4, a couple other things. So let's get started. Dead Space Universe, which is a Facebook fan page full of passionate Dead Space fans, we recently hit over 3,000 people. So I want to give a big round of applause to everyone who's in our community that's pushing Dead Space 4, talking about Dead Space. The link is in the description below. We changed it to a public invite. So now if you want to, you don't have to be sent an invite to join. If you want, you can join no matter what. We talk about Dead Space fan art, Dead Space 4 discussions. It's a big Dead Space community. Just hit over 3,000 members. That's freaking awesome. Link is in the description below if you want to join our awesome engineer community. Next up is an update on the Tanya Clark interview. We went back and forth, had a couple emails, and here's what the situation currently is so far. On February 1st, I sent her an email saying, Hey, Tanya, it's James. Just checking back to see if you got a chance to play Dead Space so I could interview you. Please let me know how it went. Thanks. The next day, February 2nd, she responded, Hi, not yet. I'm out of town and I'm returning next week. Hope to do so then. I'll keep you posted, I promise. Just been busy. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. February 8th, I decided to send her a follow-up email saying, Hi, Tanya. Don't mean to be a bother. Just wondering if you have any updates on your situation. 10,000 plus Dead Space fans are eager to hear you speak. Ha ha ha. Hope all is well, James. So I know the interview has been long overdue. And I don't blame Tanya because because she wants to obviously know her information before she gets in front of a microphone and talks about her involvement with the series. And it's been a couple of years since she voice acted in Dead Space 2 and she never really played through the games. And not to mention, guys, this is a person who got a chance to voice act in a major video game. So I'm sure she has many other connections and I'm sure she's very busy with other projects. Try not to get too impatient with Tanya Clark. The fact that she's still responding to my emails is pretty awesome. And that just tells me that she still wants to do the interview. She's just busy. So hopefully Hopefully we can have some free time and God forbid if she can play Dead Space, I'll pick some questions out that aren't too challenging because there's a bunch of questions I got to look through, but I didn't look through any of the questions yet because I want to set a date before I interview Tanya Clark. But maybe I guess I should do that while I wait for Tanya Clark. As promised in prior videos, including this one and future ones, I will continue to keep everyone updated on Tanya Clark. This interview will happen, and I will make sure it does. Let's talk about Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3 backwards compatibility. The last time I talked about this was January 20th, and now it's February 8th. It's been 19 days, and I think I'm going to do a monthly basis on this whole thing, because as we see in the results, uh, not much has changed, and we actually lost extra votes only because I'm updating this backwards compatibility in a shorter period of time compared to last time where it was a month before I covered it again. So just to see better results, I'll probably do this as a monthly video series. Dead Space 2, January 20th, we had 35,298 votes. 19 days later, 35,774 votes. We increased by 476 votes, but compared to last month, we were down by 282. That is unfair to really compare those because it was an extra like 11 days last time I covered this. Dead Space 3, January 20th, 36,161 votes. 19 days later, 36,000. 656 votes, an increase of 495 votes, but compared to my last month, minus 243, again, not a really big deal. This continues to show me, like, I don't understand this. People don't like Dead Space 3, so why does Dead Space 3 have the most votes compared to 2? I thought 2 would be destroying Dead Space 3 in votes, but Dead Space 3 is just gaining more momentum than Dead Space 2, probably because of the cooperative play. If you guys have not voted for Dead Space 2 or 3, or if you have, and if you have the chance to re-vote again, by all means, in the description below is the link to go vote for Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3 to be backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Let's make it happen. Let's keep the discussion going. Cycling over to Dead Space 4, I think a big thing that visual games could work on for Dead Space 4 is how to balance horror elements with cooperative play. You're like, whoa, 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 why do we want cooperative play in a Dead Space game? A lot of people really enjoy Dead Space 3 because of its cooperative play. And I think that's the really biggest highlight with Dead Space 3 is that it's really fun to play with a friend. And I know there's a lot of people out there that keep talking about stories about how much fun they had with their friends playing in this amazing universe. So I don't think for Dead Space 4 they should cut cooperative play. I think they should implement it hopefully into the campaign and somehow balance it out with horror. I think that would be a great 
great thing to do, but it's also really hard to do that. This this whole topic, I'll have to think about this. This should be a whole discussion for another video, how Dead Space 4 can balance cooperative play and horror elements without spoiling one over the other. If you guys like Dead Space, Dead Space 4, Bioshock 4, Bioshock, Halo, Halo 6, subscribe to JKP Rising. I upload videos about Dead Space, Bioshock, Halo, fitness, health, and other things on the channel, so please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in any of those five things. 3,000 plus strong Dead Space fans on Dead Space Universe. Dead Space 4, our movement is still going strong. Let's echo this game into existence. Never give up. If you enjoyed anything in this video, remember to drop a like. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay positive. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.